All right, guys, I am doing a beginner's guide of uh, Power World, and here we go. So obviously, you got to start the game, and I would create a new world. You can kind of name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call this the, the beginner's guide world. So I would normally use normal difficulty, but in this case, casual. I know, guys, before, like, calm down, casual. I know it's like, I want to challenge. It's like, this game is more of a sit back and relax and enjoy the time you're spending in this game. So I'm going to really recommend it casual. But if you're a player that's going to be like leaning into the game and just going a little bit hardcore, you know, I would go normal. But casual, for those new to survival games that want to enjoy a relaxing life with their pals, pals are easier to catch. You gain more XP and you can gather resources and incubate eggs faster battles become much easier there are no penalties when dying i call this i don't give a shit difficulty because you can just sit back and relax and actually play the game the way you want and uh, the normal difficulty is kind of ridiculous on how things you know last and how just be able just get on the casual it's just you know just you can customize your character the way you want. You can use a preset. You can do random ones. You can make your character look like a, a dummy. But um, we're going to try to get a random one that actually looks decent here. I'm just going to do the basic character. I don't have time for this. I mean, I do have time, but I just don't want to like waste my time doing this. Um, I'm going to skip this because I've seen it a hundred times. All right, here we go. So once you load it into Power World, um, you're going to have, you're going to spawn in in this little temple looking thingy with rocks. And if you look on your right side, there is a tutorial, which is full objectives. And basically we do all these objectives and it's going to lead us into basically the first boss so pretty much tells you how the game is going to go so if you ever see these right here these are unlocked every time you unlock a fast travel you get a technology point which if you go to technology this is where um if you ever played arc arc is where every time you level up you'll get a point and you use those points to upgrade or to unlock items to help you survive and unlock jesus christ can you not be right here please all right you, know, you ever played Elden ring like the, you know the guy on the tree the guy on the tree the guy on the big um boss thingy well this is kind of what this guy is so this is the big elephant that's in the very beginning he's level 33 so uh don't be that one guy that just smacks him because he he will kill you in like one hit so just let him walk around and just let him do him just let him do his own thing and he won't touch you so yeah so these are the fast travels come over here she's gonna give you um she's also gonna give you some wood here it's gonna be tin wood yeah she's gonna give you some wood so basically to start out there's also wood laying on the ground here. You can also pick up stone and wood on the ground and you will immediately level up to level two. As you see here, it says open the menu with that button and go to the options tab and check survival guide. So we need to go check the survival guide. So survival guide, here we go. That challenge is done. We're gonna move on the next one. Open the build menu with up on D-pad, select primitive workbench and set the build location. All right, so go to technology. First, before we do this, I'm gonna actually pick a location. So what's good is is you need to find a location that's very very open with a lot of trees because we can literally go back and forth and farm as much wood as possible but i would recommend probably okay we're gonna find a spot over here somewhere all right i'm already think i'm already looking at it and if you're on the way trying to look where you want to go like look for a spot on the way there you can actually just pick up some you know wood and some stone that's very good too so you will have a stamina bar so i would watch out for that to go completely red if the cinema bar completely completely drains out basically you have to wait for it the bar to build back up before you can start you know doing the running and jumping again or swinging or attacking so that's the only downside is and i will also recommend grabbing berries i know berries is uh, a beginner's kind of thing to do it's easiest way to get food sources so you can just eat, eat berries and you will never you know starve so it's a really big thing to use in uh in these kind of games we need to build a workbench here we're gonna build a workbench and we're gonna press x you can hold x whatever console you're on i don't know what you're playing on so we're gonna hold this down okay we built that so challenge is done open the technology screen from the menu and unlock a pal spear so if you ever played pokemon go or any kind of pokemon game this is pretty much a, a pokeball so we're going to pretty much craft this 
So if you look here, we need a paladin fragment. Hopefully I said that word right. And we need 18 wood and eight stone. So if you don't have 18 wood, you can go to these trees, smack wood until you get enough. Then stone is elite on the ground. And also stone is also located anywhere on the map close to you. Stone will look like this. So you can just smack it and you will get stone. The paladin is this stuff right here. This is the stuff we need. So we're gonna farm this real quick with our fist real quick. All right, we're gonna go back to our menu, go to the technology tab, and we're gonna unlock the pal spear now we need to craft it so interact with it press x to select a recipe basically you can press a then you can use the left and right trigger to pick how many you want to craft if you have the resources for it so i want to craft three so we can go ahead and craft this it's actually pretty simple and fast probably gonna take like five seconds attack house to weaken them and then press rb to throw a pal spear and capture them so like i said we're gonna play uh pokemon go basically we're gonna we're gonna hit these pals until they get very little health then we're gonna throw the uh pal spear at them so here we go I'm Gonna hit him a couple times here. Hopefully, I don't actually kill him. We're gonna hit him a few times here. There we go. Then we're gonna press RB and it's basically gonna capture him. So, there we go. Like, we literally captured him. As you capture so many of the same pals, you will gain extra XP, which is very good. Open the technology screen from the menu and unlock Pal Box. Okay, we're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to the technology tab. We're gonna unlock any resources. So, we need Paladin fragments, we need wood, and we need stone. So, I'm gonna come over here and find one of these blue looking black rocks. You know, when you see it. And we're gonna smack it until we get enough of these that we need. Also get some wood here. Now we can unlock the pal box. Build a pal box in open space. The surrounding area will become your base. Yes, we love rhymes in here. Build this. And then you're basically gonna interact with this. All right, so make this much easier. We're gonna craft some, some weapons here. Okay, let's go ahead and craft a wooden club. So basically you need just wood. So just come over here, hit a tree until you get enough wood you need. Then you just come over here into this crafting bench and basically just craft a wooden club. This is really gonna be useful for taking down other pals and basically farming. So once you acquire it, you can actually open a menu up and you're gonna have four different slots you can equip to your, your hotbar to press Y and switch different weapons. So now we need to get a... Okay, I'm gonna highly recommend getting a torch right away as soon as you can as possible because this torch will pretty much save your life because we need this because if we go into nighttime, we're gonna need to use a torch so we can actually see where we're going. So let's go ahead and craft a torch here we're gonna craft one so let's go ahead and craft this real quick and you can equip it's gonna magically equip it into your hot bar so whatever new weapon you get it's gonna equip it to your hot bar but as you unlock more weapons it's gonna you know get built up so you gotta mix and match and put whatever you want in the hot bar so you know what weapons you have and you just press y to pretty much cycle through your weapons which is pretty cool so the next weapon we need we need a stone pickaxe so we need a stone and wood let's go get some more wood here so we're gonna use our nice little handy bat here to get some more wood all right we got some stone over here if you find any extra stone on the ground go ahead and pick it up but other than that go to these little rocks over here i mean they're not little rocks but big rocks and we're gonna get some stone i'm gonna farm some stone so now it's time to craft a stone pickaxe oh let's go ahead and craft this if the name didn't give it away already the stone pickaxe is for mining stone so if we go to use our bat here it does 12 damage and as soon as we take out a stone pickaxe it does the orange damage it does close to over 50 damage so it literally tells you the difference so it's really good now we need a stone axe so you just need to get stone and get wood if you don't remember how to get those resources just rewind the video we're gonna craft a stone axe now go ahead and craft this baby like i said it's gonna immediately go to our hot bar so we just press y to cycle through weapons so this one's good for hitting trees it's doing 60 to 80 damage almost so there we go even with a few swipes we're gonna knock down a tree and it makes farming resources much quicker and faster so we built everything that the game has given us on the workbench. So now we need to access the pair box and summon a pal to your base. So we're going to interact with the pal box. And then we're going to click A on the land ball. And we're going to put it at our base. Basically, this pal is going to be able to work on our base. Whatever, whatever we're doing, we're like if we're farming for resources or whatever we're doing, the pal is going to be able to help us on our base and also attack other pals. And the only downside is, if you look at the right side here, it says pals without beds will get stressed. So yes, you're going to need to take care of your on pals they will get hungry they will get stressed they will get worn out pretty much gonna need to take care of them you also need to feed them also use the button to open your inventory and press to consume food and starve of hunger so if you go to your star button whatever console you're on um if you uh go to your food or your berries you just press y on it then you select a on your player then you'll get food and your bar will go up so that's why i said berries is really highly recommended in this game because you can find them really easily 
easily. If not, you can destroy other pals and get meat and you'll be able to eat that meat. Just pretty cool. You just level up, opening your inventory with a strike in your stats. So it's almost like Elden Ring. You can pretty much, you have a set of stats. You have health, stamina, attack, defense, work speed, and weight. And whatever you put this toward is going to make your character stronger. So my um, experience from playing this game is weight is a highly, read highly recommended thing to upgrade because you want to farm and carry as much as stuff as possible without getting a penalty. So you're not, if you get carried too much stuff, pretty much the bar, there's going to be a bar at the bottom. It's going to be completely red. And if, if it's completely red, you cannot move whatsoever. So you got to make sure you got to have a lot of storage to carry resources. And I'm going to upgrade uh, one into stamina up because stamina up and weight is actually really highly important because you're going to be moving. You're going to be sprinting. You're going to be attacking a lot. And stamina up is really helpful in this. Hopefully, let's see, the cover speed is really fast now. So that's very awesome. So capture five land balls and earn XP bonus. If you run out of land balls, you can go over here and just craft it and just craft more. So land balls are these little white llama looking thingies so you know when you find one it looked like a like a big white puff so we're gonna come over here we're gonna whack him a few times here try not to kill him press the right bumper and we're gonna capture him and it tells you the capture rate once it's 100 percent you're gonna capture it and you're gonna press you're gonna get even more xp for it so you can go ahead and do that four more times and you will complete that challenge we have another challenge here is increase your player level by capturing 30 pals um i'm pretty sure all these challenges are are um optional but as a beginner player, it's good to do these because you can actually learn how the game works. All right, so now we need to build a campfire. So you pull up your menu, go to the technology tab here. We're gonna unlock the campfire. So we need to make this. If we don't make this, we're literally gonna die. So let's go to the campfire. We're gonna put this down. It's gonna take 10 seconds to build it. There we go, now we're so we're warm, so we're not gonna be dying. All right, we're nice and cozy with our campfire here. So, um, so what we need to do next is, so if we go to our technology tab, like I said, every time we level up, we get something to unlock. So I recommend getting a bed unlock so you can actually skip nighttime unless you don't want to go out in the nighttime and, you know, using your light to go in the dark and stuff like that. But the torches is really good to see in the dark. But if you don't want to do that, you can also put a bed on and we can actually go over here and get a cloth outfit. This will help us not to get cold. So that means even if it's nighttime or if it's cold, we can actually go farm. So we can, you know, go farm without needing a campfire next time. So that's really helpful. And the next thing I'm actually going to recommend is doing a parachute because when you go explore, you can actually jump off like high cliffs or high elevated areas, jump off, parachute, and then, you know, you can get to point A, point B really quickly. I'm going to recommend a repair bench. We need to use a repair bench to repair our weapons. So if we use an axe or a stone axe for way too long and it starts to break, we can go to this repair bench and repair it. So it's convenient. Next, I would unlock a wooden chest because we can store our resources in here. Next, let's build a, let's craft a wooden structure set so we can actually build floors for our base. And let's do a let's do a crossbow some arrows let's do a common shield that's gonna be really good for the beginning of this game stone spear that's really good go ahead and get a bat you can also get a fireball fire arrows get mounted torches put on our base get a statue how gear workbench a berry plantation so we can carry and get a berry farm and get a ranch so we can farm it gets wool we get a pal bed to make sure our animals get some rest and not get stressed out repair kit cloth All right we're gonna start off basic here we're gonna start to build our first house so let's go ahead and start our first house make sure we got plenty of wood i'm actually gonna build a wooden chest here so we can just you know plot like let's get some wood up so we can keep building our base other than just going back and forth and your pals can help you build which is cool and once they help you build you also level up right, let's go ahead and farm some wood right, we got four points here so let's upgrade our stamina up twice and let's do weight twice there we go seems like a fair enough stats so i see here if you gather too much resources your your limit on your weight is going to turn red which you literally cannot move and you hold too much you're not going to be able to move at all so you're going to make sure that we're actually minimizing that all right so this is the way i actually built my base you guys don't have to copy me but this gives you like a little example of how to start with a base and a power world so basically i'm going to come over here all right still like a little house right here so what usually what i do is i grab my wooden foundation so you press up on a d-pad go to foundations and do a wooden foundation you can 
start building, you can press X to build, or you can press Y to build continuously. So you don't have to do it individually. So one, two, I like to line it up. Plates here. One, two, three, four, five. So we got five. So right in the middle, I'll do a door, a door, and I'll do a window on each side. Then I would usually go to the wooden foundation, press Y. I will continuously build the floor. So just pressing Y with the foundation here. We're not making the house too big because this is a beginner's guide. So let's go build this back area. If any trees or stones are in your way, you can just pickaxe it and get rid of it. Go ahead and build the rest of this house. I'm actually going to put walls around my base. So I'm going to take a wooden wall. I'm going to press Y, then just keep doing it. I'll do it all the way around. All right, there's a rocket away. So I think we might have to make this. Let's go ahead and make them kind of destroy this. That's why I'm going to make it smaller than intended. Go ahead and build this, this wall here, the wall there, then destroy this wall. Now we can build a roof. So we just go to our building materials, go to a wooden roof, and basically just press Y and do continuously build. There we go. We got a nice little house. So I'm going to actually build. I'm going to go to up on D-pad, go to production. And I'm actually going to build a workbench right here. Even though we have one outside, but I want to, I want to have one inside of our house. A repair bench on the right side. It takes 30 seconds. There we go. So now we have a, have a crafting bench on the left side. And then on the right side, we have a repair bench. So we can come over here, click A, and press the button that says repair. And then we can repair our, our weapons. As long as you get the resources for it, we can repair it. All right, let's go ahead and build a common shield. So we got these resources here. So paladin fragment, just blue stones, then wood from trees, stone from rocks, and fiber also from trees. So let's go ahead and craft this. You can also press left yeah. bumper. You can have palace help you build also. But this common shield is going to actually give a shield. If we look at the bottom left, it's going to give a shield. We're going to have up to five bars of shield, which is really good for the beginning of this. So now we got a, a workbench and a repair bench. Now we have a good in house with a nice little flat roof here. Basic, but let's go over here and go to straw pal bed. And let's build a couple of these over here. So our pals don't have somewhere to sleep and not get stressed. And the pals that are able to build they will actually help you while you're trying to build these equipment, whatever you're trying to build in here. All right, all the pal beds are complete. So once we get more pals in here, they'll be able to sleep. We can also destroy up on D-pad, press the right thumbstick, and you can actually press X on it just to dismantle it. And we're actually going to build a cloth outfit. So now we need to get cloth. So we just get wool. And to get wool, we need to come over here into these... And while looking for resources or different pals to eliminate, you can actually find chests around the map. And you can also find berries to collect for your food. There's a lot of berries everywhere, so it's really good for a source of food, especially on the go. There's also another fast travel over here, so we're going to head and hit this. We're going to unlock this fast travel here. We get XP for it, and then we have the technology points for it, so it does. We can go to a technology page and unlock another item that we can't unlock. Where are the land balls at? What the hell? There's no land balls anywhere. I'm trying to, like, do a point here. All right, we get some wool from killing lamb balls we go over here and eliminate these guys over here we will get the wool from that so that's how we get that material now we can craft cloth so let's go ahead and craft some of these we only need two of them on why I selected 11 I guess so I have two cloth now so now we can craft the cloth outfit which we need so we're gonna craft this and this makes it where if we go into nighttime or whatever location we're at if it's cold or not um that means we don't need a torch or a campfire to make us warm so we have a cloth outfit so it's convenient there we go so once you acquire it. It, it it immediately equips it to your character i see here we are looking good okay i'm actually gonna uh, let's grab let's go ahead and, and craft a bat this is like better than the the wooden club so let's go ahead and craft this bat so we can do extra damage to any other enemies or uh, difficult all right i'm gonna go to my storage space over here i'm gonna grab some leftover wood here try to grab other stuff here and i'm actually gonna, gonna move, destroy that and then we're gonna actually move the storage inside of our house so we can actually have some um so we're gonna build these wooden chests, have everything in order. So not everything is like sloppy. And so let's go ahead and build this real quick. Have everything organized. So this is very cool. So the cool thing about this game is inventory gets full and you put everything in your inventory and you want to clear your storage. No matter what you're going, you want to craft. So whatever you want to craft, the materials that you have, it doesn't have to be your in your inventory to literally craft. So if you got materials that are in your chest, it counts for everything. So if you go to 
craft a you know a torch or whatever you don't need these you don't need those materials in your inventory to craft those which is actually a big plus so you don't have to go back and forth and like keep going back and forth and you know crafting whatever it's what so that's really helpful i think the next thing we need to do is we need to craft a normal parachute because the parachute didn't come in handy let's go ahead and craft two of these we got ourselves some cloth so nobody can build a parachute let's go ahead and build one i would definitely try to build to the side so the pals can help you if you have any pals with you so you can speed up the process so now we got a parachute so nice so we got a uh we got some cloth armor to keep ourselves warm we got some shield to give x to get hit more times so when we get come across the enemy they hit us our shield goes down first then our health then we have a glider just in case we want to you know get to point a point b very quickly if we're on top of a hill i'll give you guys an example right now so you actually come over here into a hill jump off press a and you'll be able to glide so it's very convenient and it's actually based on your stamina up so whatever just make sure your stamina up is full that's only the thing that sucky part is once you use your stamina up once you use your glider it's gonna use part of your stamina up so that's gonna decline really quickly in those little safe areas it, it really comes in clutch when you're like when you're trying to get somewhere fast so you have that glider it's really it's really good to have it just in case you're exploring all right so we're actually gonna go on an adventure here a little bit a little of a adventure we need to go around and collect some different variety of pals so we can use them to farm our base for materials all right now i'm hungry so i need to go to my food press y then press a on the character you can also feed your other animals too all right it's starting to get dark so i think we need to build a bed it would probably be a good idea all right up on the pad uh, let's see if we can find a bed anywhere there we go bed so we need wood so let's go ahead and grab some wood real quick really <laughs> come on so let's see here if you swing too much and your stamina completely runs out bar will be red and you won't be able to swing or do anything besides walk yeah there should be enough wood here so we're gonna come over here and craft this real quick so get ourselves a bed here put it in this little corner over here there we go so press hold x on that at 20 seconds so once we sleep there should be a day and night life cycle here so once we get up it should be daytime which it is so before we went to bed it was actually toward toward the evening and it's about to be dark so in solo that worked really perfectly just like minecraft but i tried to do this in co-op and it really didn't work the way it's supposed to i don't know if it's a bug or anything but hopefully that's not a problem with you guys so back to what i was gonna do um if you guys see any berries outside your base i'll go ahead and pick them up if you guys see any extra resources outside your base I'll go ahead and pick them up because it's better to grab that now than forget about it and never have it and have to craft it later. So it's good to have it. Better to be safe than sorry. So we're actually going to go on a little adventure here. Not too far, but we're going to go off on our own. If you guys get lost, you can actually um, press the middle left bumper in the middle of your controller and you can actually pull up the map. You can actually see the fast travel points that we unlocked here. So actually, I'm going to give you guys an example right now. So if you guys want to speed up processes here, you can actually go to this fast travel that we actually opened in the very beginning of the game. And a quick tip here, um, your pal press left bumper to call them in then you can use the d-pad to call a variety a bunch of pals here so you can just you know press the left bumper and it will be able to fight with you and a little tip if you're trying to catch pals i recommend not having him out because he will kill your pals instantly and it's going to ruin your trying to catch pals you guys don't have to run up here like i'm doing i'm just giving you guys an example of how this works so if we come over here press x on it then we can actually fast travel so you guys remember the fast travel we opened earlier we can fast travel to that point press a fast travel then we're right over here here now so you can grab right, let's catch one of these guys okay smack him i accidentally killed him all right let's catch one of these he's level five so he's gonna take up quite a bit of hits here right, or not why is everybody running all right let's smack this guy one more time right bumper to capture him there we go i'm gonna sit right got him that's a little you know as you can pick up there but yeah so we can take those statue thingies we picked up right here then we can use it to give it to a statue and then we can have more power to get pals that's level 11 hmm an idea let's see if i can capture this guy ow Call him in, call him in. All right, third at him. We're not third at him. Am I going to catch him or not? Holy crap, we actually catched him. Oh shit, got a Nightwing. Let's go. Actually, we can actually get some eggs. We can actually use that later for... We can actually build a incubator so we can form eggs to get other pals. All right, let's go ahead and catch, go ahead and catch one of these. All right, he's low health. Oh shit, I was close. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. All right, we caught him. Nice. All right, we got the hairy nipples over here, so let's get ahead and grab this. One more time. Here we go, we caught him. Also, I'm going to try to catch one of those deers too. So if your pals get injured in combat, you can actually go to this pill box over here. And you can actually take them and put them right here. And it's going to be set on a time limit. It's like 10 minutes. So it makes them restore health and everything. So really good tip there. I'm also going to build a wooden floor right here. And some stairs. 
Sometimes gotta move around. I like using these as my side doors here. Go. It's pretty clean. All right, let's get a farm set up here. Let's get some. Okay, let's get a tree foundation going here. Go ahead and build this real quick. So open your D-pad and we're gonna build a logging site so we can farm wood. There we go. Our logging is complete. Now we need to build a stone pit, which we need stone and wood. So let's go ahead and get stone real quick. And we got wood right here and stone. So how convenient is this? Okay, let's collect this wood real quick. And let's go ahead and grab this stone. All right now we can craft a, a stone pit. So we can craft so we can build the stone pit to be able to farm this stone. All right, we get the stone mining complete. So there we go. So if we actually go to our farming, well, no shit, but what are they doing? So if I actually press the menu and go to pal deck, if you go to the ones you captured, your pals, it tells you what kind of farming they're gonna do. Like, are they gonna do like hand work or are they gonna do like transporting farming or are they gonna do like planting, hand work, lumbering, medicine production, uh, transporting. So it tells you what work they're gonna be doing for your base so it gives you an idea like what to do so now if you get to your pair box we can go to base upgrades and build a wooden chest they play a work pile to the base so basically we got that already build a workbench then build a shoddy bed so we already did that so immediately go on to base level three build a feed box build a straw pal bed so we already did the pal bed now we need to build a feed box so up on a d-pad and we need to go to a i think we still have to unlock that technology box there we go so don't lock out so up on d-pad again and we're gonna do a feed box so we need wood i'm gonna come over here and get wood real quick there we go let's get our feed box out gonna head craft this real quick 10 seconds this should be fast as long as my pals come in and help me there we go three seconds two one easy we got that done so we go go over here press y base upgrades boom another base upgrade so but okay fire we already did that build a berry plantation so up on d-pad berry plantation is right here so we need to get wood and stone and berry seeds you can only farm berries they are all around the map if you collect berries like in the pacific areas like this you can actually get berries and berry seeds so that's how you get the berry seeds pretty simple and easy all right let's grab five more wood now let's grab stone let's get this rock over here all right now i'm we need more two more stone there we go now let's build a berry plantation put it right here it's gonna take 20 seconds so it should be cut in half when our pals help us there we go so we have a red berry plantation let's go over here and press y we put a work pal to the base so now as you upgrade your base you're gonna get more options to put pals at the base to help you build stuff so let's go ahead and put him down there so if we go on it, it tells you what they do so let's go ahead and put that guy down there let's put our night wing down here also we also need to get a wooden stone we get a ranch going here guys so he's we're grabbing stone from that so farming that if we get one of those purple deers we can actually farm wood over here so i'm gonna grab Grab this wood real quick. I'm gonna farm this stone. All right, we got we got more upgrades. So I'm gonna go into the weight and upgrade that so we can carry more stuff. Technology, more credit to spend on. So let's unlock the crusher. Do the hot spring. Grab some stone there. All right, stock time. So let's go ahead and hit the bed here. There we go. Should be daytime now. There we go. It's daytime. Go ahead and repair our weapons. So now we can build our base to level five now. There we go. And as you complete these orders, you will upgrade your base to each level. So basically see how that goes all right let's get some more wood and get this range going so we can get some wool. all right let's go find a spot for our ranch i'm gonna put it let's put it right here more like a nice open area it takes two minutes and 30 seconds so hopefully our pals help us to reduce the time there we go easy peasy down to 40 seconds holy crap so the ranch the land balls will actually come over here and help you and they will get wool for you so you can use that for other materials to craft so basically have your own farm going you got berries over here and then you got wools over there and you got trees and stone over there so we got this little guy working on the stone over here and we need to get a, a purple reindeer i like to call them and we need to get a blue guy to get the berries i want to catch one of those right now actually before we go further in this i want to show you guys the movement yes this game has movement so um if you press b you can actually dodge and you can also if you're like fighting you can just dodge backwards you can sprint, you can jump, but you press A, and then you can just, you know, dodge. It gives you a little, a little boost. You can also zoom in by holding the left trigger. And also, um, whatever your pal friend is, he actually has exclusive abilities in the mode of your screen here. So it says fluffy shield. So we can actually interact and hold X on it. Then we can have a credible shield, basically. So it's actually pretty cool. And it actually go to the technology tab here and you go to this right here. The Fox Sparks Harnessed. It can activate a partner skill, which is 
like a flamethrower, which is absolutely badass. Right, we're hungry, so we need to eat again. Let's eat some berries. Probably should have crafted an arrow. We need wood. Let's go craft an arrow. And let's go ahead and craft the bow. So we need wood, stone, and fiber. Fibers from trees. Stone is around the map. Wood is by trees, obviously. So we're going to have to craft one of these bows. So we can actually get some, you know, the pals that are running away from me. We can actually, you know, try to do damage to them to sit still and hit them with our weapon, which actually makes it pretty easy. All right, get ourselves a bow here. We can press the middle right button on your Xbox controller. Click A on it. Then you can put it to a hot bar. I'm actually going to put the bat on my second bar. The bat on my second bar. We place the torch. We can actually craft some arrows here. So I'm going to craft 84 of these suckers so to craft arrows you need wood and stone so you guys already know how to get that so easy peasy and also as you craft things you also get xp in the up also all right we got our arrows crafted so we can now use a crossbow now which is gonna be very good for hunting pals got some extra wool over here all right let's go catch that deer we can use our parachute here so we don't take fall damage here a lot of pals over here. We need our bow to hit one of these. Well, 200 damage. Oh my god. All right, right bumper. Capture them. Nice. Let's go. We try to catch another one. Let's shit some good boys. There we go. Let's just capture another one. And the next thing I want to capture is a one of those deers. See a deer over there, guys. This is it. Let's go grab this guy. Ooh. We got a dot dot mechanic. Hunt our pal to help us. Let's catch him. Screw it. All right, call my pal in so I don't kill him. All right, let's catch him. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 82. 99. 100. Let's go. I'm going to grab these berries over here. All right, go ahead and go to this fast travel over here. Here, then we're gonna fast travel to our base. There we go, back to our base. Now we need to go to our pail box. And now we need to get this guy in here. Let's get the deer in here. There we go. So the deer is gonna work on wood. Then the other guys work on stone. So we got 36 stone. Okay, the person that went on the stone and went on a short break. That's fine. Technology tab. Let's go ahead. I would also go over here, go to your repair bench and make sure to repair all the all the stuff you need, especially your armor. So we need another cloth for that. We can craft that real quick. Go craft one of those. Takes like two seconds. Let's repair our outfit. There we go. So we have a nice little house. You can actually build it on your house if you guys want to. Um, you can get really, really creative with the houses. It's actually pretty cool. Um, we also got a wooden barrel. So we got that too. We can also craft a alarm bell here. So we can uh, use the bell to alarm. So there is a time point of the game where you will get raided. So that means there's going to be like a red text on your screen. Like you're getting raided as you're playing the game. And you're going to have these people, these people rushing your base basically. And they're going to be running to your base and you basically have to kill them. Protect me! Oh! What? What the fuck? No! 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 Help! My house is burning down! No! Help! No, bro! What the fuck? Your pals will help you if they're throw them down and stuff like that so they help you so as it says here currently attack invaders and you can change this to ring the bell for your pals to help them so uh, so far we have four pals that are in good condition and it looks like we're under attack right now so <laughs> we're under attack right now they didn't even say raid yeah dear get them oh, look at all this look at all this stone that my pal has got oh my god right, nice this is actually coming up pretty good here okay what's that person we need a person to get our water i thought this guy was our water guy but i don't think he is yeah yeah he's our water guy what the hell is he oh he's helping okay he do it he does let's go okay so it does tell you okay so if you go to your pals it tells you what they do here so this one does handwork as wolves this guy does the stone this person will do the the berries the deer would do the wood and this guy will help carry stuff and water so once he's doing that he will also water so he plants and the blue bird uh waters you see here he's actually waiting for this guy to be done he's taking his tongue out what the hell so weird okay he's about to be 
down here. Just so watch us. Boom, he's done. He's like, oh, get a little light bulb above his head. And then he's gonna squirt water. There you go. Look at that, guys. So you can have literally a limited supply of food just by working on that. And if you look on the right side here, you gotta really watch out for your, your pal's health. They need sleep or they need food or they're wounded. You really gotta take care of them. And actually walk up to them, press the right bump, the right thumbstick, gotta feed. And then you can just feed them whenever they're hungry. And now we basically, it's growing now. So that'll happen over time. If you actually um, press the right bumper also, if you also press the right thumbs, you can actually do some emotes here. You know, if you play with friends, you can do a little emotes, you know, have fun. Anything else you can craft here? All right, let's get a crusher. So let's get some wood and get a crusher. All right, let's get ourselves a crusher. We gotta put one right here. Even though it's both star base, but who cares, man? It's a farming base. And all your pals will help you. Look at those guys. They're all helping us. And this will actually get us, this will get us paladin. So we can, you know, select on the one we want, start production. And animals will come over here and they will basically make you craft paladin. It's pretty freaking awesome. So we got a land ball here, starving here. So we need to go find him. Where is he at? All right, it's getting dark time here. So I want to actually get to sleep here. There we go. So the land ball is starving. So I'm going to actually feed him food if he actually stands still. All right, let's feed him some food. As you see here, you can see at the bottom of the screen, the health bar and everything. And also watch you fight certain enemies and stuff like that. You also get a copper key, which you can only use this key to unlock chests too. So the feed box is to a box for storing pal food. Pals can feed from it when hungry. Make sure to keep it well stocked up to keep your pals happy. So that is very awesome. So like the pals get hungry, they can go over there and make sure this is just make sure there's food in there so the pals can eat whenever they're hungry. So as you run around the map, the map will open as you go. And we're actually gonna go over here and try to find our first dungeon by our first enemies that you can farm. Right, I'm gonna get prepared for this and I'm gonna show you guys where to do the dungeons and actually follow the main story. Need more stone. I think we gotta make more beds here because you know, our pals are getting stressed. The beds over here, so I don't know. It's pals without beds. There's only beds over there. I don't get it. 129 arrows. You guys think that's enough to go boss? How many arrows do we have? We have 200. Holy. I'm actually gonna switch some pals here. So I'm gonna put them over here. It's good to have a bunch of a variety of pals on your team, especially the higher level. So it's really good to help you fight bosses and stuff like that. So we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you guys where to go for the dungeons and so with these, there's actually good coins you can actually get. There's going to be this merchant that's going to be running around. He's like in a red kind of jacket. You'll know when you see him. I really don't sit, want to sit here and spend time, um, you know, searching for him. So if I find a picture of him, I'll, I'll show you guys what he looks like. So you guys can stop by him and actually buy some stuff. Because he actually has some exclusive, you know, some blueprints you can get and extra items that you wouldn't find in an open air like this. So it's really cool to see that. So I'll let you guys know where, what he looks like. So before you head out, you go to a like a dungeon or any store boss so i recommend just gathering up food before you go and it's better to it's better to be prepared than safe than sorry so hey okay, i'm gonna go ahead go to your technology tab and actually upgrade well unlock a three shot bow so kind of want to get that right now we need wooden stone all right we got a point here so i'm gonna upgrade the stamina up all right three shot bow gimme 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 Got a three shot bow, nice. Think about this three shot bow is you can shoot three arrows at a time, but it only takes out one arrow. So you pretty much get triple the amount of arrows that you would normally get, which is awesome. So I really recommend getting that shoot three shot bow. So now I'm gonna, you guys can follow what I do. I'm going ahead and go over here to where we normally was. I'm actually gonna go to the fast travel over here. All right, I'm gonna head to this fast travel over here. I'm gonna fast travel to fast travel right here. Now from here, we're gonna head straight into that little temple statue over there, straight ahead. So once you hit this lake on your left, you're gonna keep going it this way. We need to head to that halo ring over there. There's three circles. Once we get up on top of this hill, there's gonna be a little fast travel statue over here once again. So we're gonna go over here, go over here and activate it. So so we can actually activate the fast travel. We also get technology points here too. So we can unlock other items. So there we go. And now there's a dungeon right here, which is level level 13 boss. So if you um, don't feel safe, like you want to keep guys, you want to keep farming this area. You can just keep fast travel in these three areas, which is cool. So you don't have to run all the way back, which is so convenient. So you can be at your base and just teleport all the way over here. And these main statues are like the main story bosses. You'll see a statue icon on your screen. Then we're going to go into this dungeon our first dungeon so we're gonna be fighting our first enemy types in here and this is probably where i'm gonna spawn in my pals left bumper and then now we have enemies here so much damage this thing does just a hundred not bad at all i'm gonna try to save my bow ammo so i can save it for the final boss in here each time you do these dungeons most of them are the same but
but there's different bosses every time. You can also catch the bosses with your pal sphere also. So as you explore the world of Pay World, there's gonna be you know dungeons and story bosses everywhere, and there's gonna be bases with these syndicate enemies everywhere. So there we go, look at that damage. I'll take that guy out. This is my fairy area in the game, like the water and the coil. It just looks so nice over here. We're gonna take this water to the right. We're gonna swim. Watch out. I would also watch out while swimming in areas because if you swim in areas, your stamina bar will decay. And if you're still in the water and your health bar is at yellow, that means basically you're you're gonna die. So make sure you have that enough stamina up to climb the wall or find an area next to the rock inside of the water. We got more enemies over here. Nice. Pals are doing quite a bit of damage here. I love it to see it. But that's not doing much damage. Let's keep using this bat. It's the strongest weapon I have besides the crossbow. You can also like explore these areas. There's you know resources everywhere. You'll probably find chest with that. We got random guys sitting here. <laughs> we're getting close to the boss here. So we're gonna go through this area right here. There's other ways you can go, but if you just go straight in, you just go straight to the boss. So here we go. There's gonna be a boss up here, and it's gonna be different every time you walk in here. So let's see. We have a army of chickens. That's right. right. Quite nice, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and spawn this guy in. Hopefully, we don't die here. So I'm gonna try to take these guys out. It's so hard to aim on controller. I would just absolutely melted him. Can want to catch him? Let's see if I can. All right, 66. Oh my god, we might actually catch him. We actually did it. Let's go. We catch. We catch the bigger version of that. That's awesome. Okay. And after you're done, you can come over here. And there's actually gonna be chests over here. You can actually open. There's two of them. So you can open chests here. You get special rewards. And you can basically farm this, which is really cool. So you can just keep doing it for XP. And then if you feel like you're, you guys are really ready, you're like really fully prepared, you can go into the story boss, which is the big statue. Then you could just keep exploring other areas as you go here. So it's dark time. So you can actually equip your torch. So you can actually see. And we have a lot of enemies over here. You can actually hit them with a the torch too, which is actually funny. Got some syndicate. We got some thugs over here. Okay, his crossbow is... I'm gonna come smack him on the back for me. Come here, boy. How you doing? Damn, look at that. Look at that, damn. That thing looks cool. I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, his triple bows are actually really good. We actually unlocked this, too. Here we go. And you have the option to keep exploring. It's, it goes beyond this. The story boss is right there. You can farm the dungeons. And it's, it's quite awesome. That's why I recommend using a torch. The, the best thing is, I love how simple this game is, how simple it is to craft stuff. This game is really not hard until you get like the mid to end game when you need to, you know, get those other resources. But you can just, it's really simple. And you can just fast travel back to your base and voila, you can keep going back and forth. You can know, uh, you can spawn wherever you want. Like it's, it's, it's so cool like how they designed this game because they have fast travels so you have to run all the way back but once you get in the game once you play further inside of the game you get pals and you actually ride on and fly on and it's really cool so i'm gonna go over here and sleep in bed wait for daytime there we go so yeah uh yeah i'm on fire don't ever run over the, to the campfire that's one tip i can make i always accidentally do that is just walk over the fire on accident i hate when i do that all right i think that's gonna be my beginner's guide of Power World. If you guys want to see more content like this in the near future, let me know in the comments below. If I actually missed anything, um, it's a beginner's guide, so I'm not going to go through completely everything. If I missed anything, you guys, if I missed on anything that you guys think that I should have in, in this beginner's guide, comment below and are sure to reply. And hope you guys really enjoy this. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notification to never miss a video. And thank you guys so much for over 1,000 subscribers. And we're still going. So, you guys next time. Peace. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining